Fiddle like update, Danny Boy here, we're back with more transport fever on the modern map. We're over here at America uh, at the construction materials plant where it occurred to me that this new train we've got going to Santa Fe, if I can cut it, it holds 240 feet. Well, it holds uh, 720 actually. 720 construction materials. It's already getting. Uh, fit is it getting? I think it's on the wrong line again. It is. Now I don't know why it does this. I'm confused. Ah! I know exactly why it does this. But it doesn't matter. Because fit we are getting D is. Uh, right, you should be technically over there. So even though we'll get it going quite quickly over there. Uh, 160. Too much curvature. If you could just slot in some way nicely there. Katana I know. Place that on there. Push play. And it's jumped onto the right line. There you go, top tip and how to beat the game there. <laughs> this thing looks pretty spectacular as well, the Southern Pacific train. So you're only getting 131 going to Cancun. Oh, and going to Southern Pacific. Uh, right, what we are getting to is we are going to send this train back to the depot because there is really no need for it. Uh, 720 a pop is quite good. It gets there quite quickly. Uh, I'll rearrange this part of the line so that it does go on the correct path. Uh, we'll speed it up a bit to get him out. And then we'll try and head over to San Francisco with some construction materials for them. While we're waiting for this, we'll do a bit of, bit of smoothing. Right, you always revert back to medium, which is annoying because I'd like it constantly set on high. What I forgot to do is when I was building this train, uh, the station is 600 meters long, but that's not the case when it comes to a curved station. It's always a couple of meters shorter than the advertised uh, length the station you need to remember that when you're building trains because even though the, the whole train doesn't fit in the station it will actually load uh, wagons or flatbed wagons or whatever it is you've got on your train it will actually load that even though half the train is in the station if we push pause there that's them at the end but there's still that sticking out. This is a 600 meter train. This is a 600 meter station. So he's now gone. That's fine. Just push play. And the smoothing looks pretty good. Right. What I shall do is move this. Right. The signal will be gone. The signal will be gone. Right, uh, give me 160 again. Sort of different colour track there, but I'm not really worried. And then get it going out here. Now, if I want to, it gives me the option of adding another train later on if I need it, which I highly doubt that I will. Because 720 is a lot. It will probably be the same with the train going to San Francisco. I'm thinking about using a Burlington and Northern train. And we do have the same sort of wagons that are on this guy for that. I'll just smooth this uh, failed attempt at track building. Now I am actually recording this on Monday. I'm actually recording this on Monday night. And as soon as I've rendered it, and it loaded it to YouTube, it will come straight on. It won't be 8 o'clock, like UK time. The time it's normally on, it'll be a bit later, but there will be an episode today. 
unless something catastrophic goes wrong, uh, my house explodes, uh, I take some sort of fatal heart attack in between rendering it and uploading it, apart from that we should be good. Alright, you go, you go, you also go. Now, let's see if we have got available to us here. Bring up the lines, because most of this is being used. Right, you go up there for the moment. Right, this one's being used, so is this one, this one, this one, this one. And this is the end that brings in stone. The big boy there bringing in masses of stone. 540, it's pretty good. So we're getting to hate to go probably out of here. Now, I should probably be in this station at the end because it's just a straight shot across. So let's attempt the straight shot. Right, give me my sort of old school, uh, old school, the spell of 160. Right, get it going uh, flat if you could for the moment. Because I may have to tunnel under this section of road. It doesn't want to give me a tunnel as of yet. It might still do, it might use a tunnel. Because this section of the road is slightly higher up. Right, it didn't. Now push it in, bring it down. But that keeps it going flat. Now, now it gives us a tunnel. Okay, right, bring it up slightly. Uh, tram 155. You're going to stay as is tram. Right. Now, this is definitely going to interfere with this uh, Atlantic Coast intercity train line. I can just see it now. If I bring it from here and try and connect it up. It's not interfering with anything. Good. And again, it didn't actually connect to the section I wanted to connect to. Bad. Bad game. <laughs> right. Bring it back to the tunnel. Now, is this going to give us a stupid kink in the track? It still maintains its speed, so it will allow that. Right, now, this should be flat. And we are heading over to San Francisco. Let's go under this, uh, through this little valley here. Uh, keep my going flat, please. Ooh, right. Going flat gives us a tunnel. Yes, this is on a hill. Okay. I want it to go through here. Alright, that's flat. I then want you to come... Now, you can give me a tunnel here. I don't mind if it's partially tunneled. I just don't want it to be completely tunneled like the Los Angeles train was. Alright, looks near bad. So far. Alright, let's head up to San Francisco. Uh, you going straight? You are. Now, if you could continue to tunnel under there which you have now if I connect this in one go if it's sort of madness does it get a game? I know it looks good it's tunneled a long way I'm going to check the size of this station first I may want to extend it 401, 20, give me 400 and 200 uh, right. Easy way to sort this. Get rid of that. Go away. Fortunately, your house is forfeit. Unfortunately. Alright, give me freight stations. Standard. Give me six. Two hundred. Four hundred. Tandering, no. Second street connection. We'll go yes. 
spin it around. Now it was connected to this section here. One building will be removed. I think not. Okay. Excellent. Ah, San Francisco is on a hill. As it kind of is in real life. I've never actually been there. I would like to go. Uh, the last time we were in Vegas, we were going to hire a car. And then drive up to... Uh, well, uh, Los Angeles and San Francisco. But we never actually got round to it. We we're having too much fun in Vegas, as you do. Fortunately, I didn't lose too much money in Vegas. I actually came home up. I actually won about, was it like two grand or something when we were in Vegas? Uh, playing blackjack. It took me many, many hours to achieve this, but I eventually got there in the end. And then pretty much all of that two grand was spent on a helicopter tour of the Grand Canyon, which my girlfriend insisted on doing. Uh, I was not really too bothered. I would I wanted to see the Grand Canyon. I was not too bothered about the helicopter. I mean, she's never been in a helicopter. But I literally go on in every time I go offshore. So it wasn't really that much of a big deal for me being on the helicopter. Right, trams and trains. Train 175. Ah, right, they do need replaced. I think I'll replace those fuel trains in Alaska. We're running big boys up there, but it might be time for the big boy to uh, disappear. Even Toronto fuel trains old. Okay. Right, I want to extend this out that way. Now, this should be enough length. I'm getting marked the train. The same size as the other end. I'm only going to put one train on it. One train should be more than enough. Especially with a capacity of 720. Anything else would just be... Adding a second train would be overkill. As they say. Alright. Oh, it's extremely close to that bridge. Now we're good. We are good. Right, let's head up. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. And you along. Right, now you should fit in the station fine. No problem. At all, but I still need to merge you in at some point. Right, about there looked good. There, there it is. I've double tracked it, even though we're only getting hit one train. Uh, let's get a signal. Right, I'd like you in the nay in the darkness of the tunnel. I'd like you just in the station as you come out. I'm gonna do is just add those signals there so the train knows to head up and down the correct tracks. That in there. And even if it is too big for the station, we shouldn't get the same problems that we had with this train. We are jumping onto the wrong track and then the two trains sort of blocking each other. that way. Okay, right, we have two uh, platforms left. One to go up here across to Seattle. Now that's a hell of a distance. And we're probably going to need to go into Vancouver. Vancouver is the only place that does not get or will not have uh, construction materials at it. 
which is unfortunate, but he ho oh. Right. Now for the hell my gun. For am I? Ah, I need to be over here. Right. I will continue with the smoothing in a later date. Uh, how much did you get this time, buddy? 305. Let's get more all the time. Which is good. Right, now. A train going to San Francisco. Let's make it. Uh, no. Parama? Yeah. Let's make it slight smaller than the Los Angeles train. Fit is, is these platforms out here have got more distance because they're on the outside. The ones in the inside have yeah, a shorter distance. Uh, if you've ever done track racing before, like athletics, track and field, track racing, like the day in the Olympics and stuff, sprinting. The person on the outside always has to run further than the person on the inside. Which is unfortunate for that person. Right, we've pretty much used all of these except for this Union Pacific double traction. Right, let's get, this is from 1958 so they're quite old, but I like them. So we'll get to use them. Right, I've just clicked off of that. Which was stupid, because I need uh, freight uh, by trains. These big boys as well be getting old. I'll hate to replace them, and we're getting need more stone coming in. All right, so let's mark us something like 500 meters. A U.S. flat car, Burlington and Northern. Select construction materials, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 gives us 314, let's go to 500. Oh, as near as we can, 510, that seems to be enough. 612, set a ton of line, it'll be a new line. You go for there, buddy. And you're going to San Francisco. But I will hit set up trucks as well. I shall do that imminently. Let's have a look at this. I like the green. Green is my favourite colour, so... Yeah, this is... Sun, Fran... Wait, what have I got? What do I do for San Francisco again? I can't actually remember. SFA. Now, if there's a plane in here, or a train, any train will do. You, sir, SFA, San Fran, Cisco. Should really be SFR. Ah, oh, well, we'll keep it as SFA so they get confused. SFA, oh, needs to be capitals. SFA, San Francisco. Con Matt Train. Ta da. Right, away you go, sir. Uh, these planes could probably be done with some upgrades. I think one of these is going to London. Iberia Air. It's going to Amsterdam. We can certainly upgrade that. And San Francisco to London Air. We can upgrade that also. Now, push play again. Uh, let's see if the story is here down in San Francisco. Right, it's all residential. So, really, I should have this station over here and the freight station over there. Oh well. <coughs> it's too late now. I shall probably hit it go. Maybe. Uh, right, so. Where is the industry? Sort of over here. Not in the greatest of places. I'm probably not going to be able to get this stuff over here. What a train saying now. 40. And this guy, 59. Yeah, let's take a look at San Francisco's 
population is almost at 2,000 and it's on the increase. We're going to need to start delivering goods though to get it to increase more. Right, let's go with a small freight station. This will fit in here. I'm sure of it. It will. Excellent. Fire. Wait. That was going in. I saw it. Bring it round slightly. Fire in there. Okay. Nice. Right, now the industry. Does the station cover any industry? One or two. But I'm going to destroy a heap of buildings, as you do, in the name of progress, to cover. Seven buildings is a lot. I could get away with demolishing slightly less buildings, I'll be happy at. In fact, let's know. Yes, let's keep it as a three. Because there's three different goods types. Go with that. Right, unfortunately that industry is now gone. And this will be San Francisco. New line, please. So... San Francisco uh, Con Mat Road. Boom. Uh, you can go. You're going for there, and then you're popping across to there, so that's not too far. Uh, let's get you some trucks. Uh, freight, if you please. Down to the good old Peter Belt. Here he is. Uh, construction materials one, two, three, four, five. Set them on San Francisco. So we're heading down to S. There it is. SFA Conmart Road. Right, they should be hey, a little convoy coming out of the depot there. Yes, there's the first one. Excellent. Right. That is good. Right. We'll forget about the smoothing for the moment. The train has not arrived as of yet. It is there, though. Uh, where's the Los Angeles? I just want to check to make sure there's not a build-up of goods or anything here. He's just a way to make a delivery. So that's okay. Hopefully I'll deliver it before this truck uh, bails on us. Well, there is another truck inbound behind it here, so... Some length of train this, 720. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> right, now... Onward to Seattle. Ooh, that was a Concord there. No, it wasn't it. It was a St. Petersburg to Los Angeles flight. Right now, onward to... Uh, we're over here, actually. Right, we are going to San Francisco. We need now to head to Seattle. So it would be heading over here, and then go along there, cross over there, and head up. That's a hell of a route up to Vancouver. It is indeed. Is this our Conrail train? Nope, it's the New York City food train. Okay. New York City, Vancouver Express, getting 55. Chicago, Vancouver Express, getting 134. 
Right, now I do need goods. I'd like construction materials to come from over here. Although I would say they're both the same sort of distance. So we'll go with this guy, okay. Right, two remaining stations left. Right, let's get you on the way. And select R160. This will be quite a long train uh, also. out of this station as well. I'll probably hit these two sort of sharing a track. Uh, just for the moment. Am I good yet? Yes, I think I will. Hey, this one joining up with that in. Hey, heading up there. Uh, okay. That seems to be the plan. Alright, so you keep following this track for the moment until you get under this road. Until you get over the road, actually. Then, as he's heading along there, you can sort of come around there. It'd be easier going straight on, but. We shall see, right, let's uh, again bring this out here, bring this train around there, uh, ooh, train 200, 204, these are our trains in America, they have been on the go for quite a while. Especially since we were using these double traction, uh, these types of trains, they came out in 1958, so, and we basically started using them for the moment that they were conceived. Alright, head out along there. Uh, I will get, it'll be easier for me to get one station in. First, bring that round, keeping the speed up. Right, now you are heading, going to need a bridge at some point. You can continue going flat. Ah, oh, auto save for the win. <laughs> right. Just throwing a spanner in the works there, the auto save. Right, now I know you do hear a lot of shit to save, but if you could possibly go a bit faster. There we go. Right. Tunnel under there. That's fine, actually. Right, now. Heading towards Seattle. It should pop up again. Now, it might actually be easier for me to just go dink straight in here and straight in the platform that in. that gives us the bridge and everything now this station I'm not bothered about it being 600 meters I've already got food coming in for the North American food uh, distribution center up there here is one of the trains. Now, only car is three. And the reason it only car is three, no, I've got food trucks on the go. It's only getting 26% food, which is strange. It requires more food, but this place up here, doesn't seem to want to get food. Seattle, 167. The rest of them, this must be a New York City train. 
and a Pittsburgh train heading out there. And our triple header monster train coming in with more cows. It should be full. It is. So this blows through all the grain. Did you get a full load? You did. Excellent. You'll get some as well. Two trains having a race. The Chicago train and the New York train. The New Haven, the Boston train coming in there. A buzzing hive activity over here in Vancouver. Right, however, we are going to Seattle. Now, I do believe that this train track should come out here. Now, I will have two trains running on this line because it's a hell of a distance for it to cover. Actually, is it a hell of a distance? I'd say it is like uh, absolutely the train going to Vancouver will have two on it. In fact, I'm going to do is run the Vancouver train up alongside this scene and then sort of bypass this station, cross over here where it's tunneled, and then head it up there to Vancouver where my freight station is on this side okay because it's getting fuel we're getting fuel going into vancouver and food so it's not completely devoid of everything there is no fuel going into seattle though fuel for seattle might take it come for the oil refinery uh and this side uh, one of the subs uh captain jesse did actually uh suggest building the liberty oil refinery which is uh, at New York but I've already really got the uh, the Calgary fuel refinery is going to be supplying everything up in the north and then I will have another fuel refinery down here for everything in the south uh, far was I I got distracted again Right, we were building this. Okay, now do I need two trains on this? This is actually a different line. This is the line that I'll be going to... Vancouver? Yes, we are going to Vancouver. I'll upgrade the big boys to bigger trains. Uh, the big boy is probably better than anything that's newly been released or that, but we want to sort of keep stuff newish. I'll maybe upgrade those trains in the next episode. I mean, when I say newish, I basically mean. There are wagons that are can carry more capacity, and that's what we really need is a uh, fuel tanker for the fuel depot and uh, hopper wagons for the stone that carry more capacity. The more, the merrier. Because these guys are dropping off uh, crude oil and stone. And even at the food distribution hub up in North America, or Canada even, because it's at Vancouver, they're delivering the raw materials, but there's so much lines coming out of those stations that as soon as the raw materials are delivered, it just blows through the stock that's been dropped off, converts it straight to food, fires it onto the platforms, and then it's gone again. Now, I'm going to keep you upside this bridge, and then you're going to head over to the right, slightly. <coughs> now, 
Now, if I wanted to eat, is that snap to there? All right, keep going forward. Let's give my bridge. A little bridge here might look cool. Okay, and it's long. So I can sort of get this over here. No, don't interfere with the station, uh, the tunnel. Y'all are interfering with the tunnel, okay. You may come up slightly just to get past that tunnel. And then you're going to head flat towards Vancouver. Right, that's that sorted. Bring that out there. Right. Is this going to interfere with other lines coming in? Absolutely. No question. Right. If that connects up to there, that would be nice. It almost did. Into there, please, buddy. Right, so that third line is now kind of in. Oh, the line going to Vancouver. It still needs to be built up. Uh, let's just cross this section over the water. I hate building these bridge sections over water. For some reason, I get a lot of lag. And I always think that the game is about to crash. But alas, this time it has been running perfect. And it's neat too, it still is a bit laggy, but it's neat unplayable. It's still going good. In urban games, the guys that created Transport Fever are forever bringing out patches to optimise performance and stuff, which is extremely good. It's good that they've now just sort of built the game and thought, hey, it's pretty good, people like this, and then just left it. They're always continually trying to make it better. Which I do like in a game. I mean, pretty much every game I'm playing right now is like new, or it's in an alpha or beta stage build, like uh, PUBG, uh, Escape from Tarkov, DayZ. I like playing a lot of those survival uh, PvP shooters and that, but all those games have never actually been fully released. And I, I play a lot of Star Citizen as well. Yes, in Star Citizen I might actually be dead by the time that gets properly released <laughs> the full version of the game it's amazing for their doing that game but it's just you hate to give them credit because they're doing something that's never been done before but at the same time it's like is this game ever going to be released right here we go right one Union Pacific train is about to be joined by possibly two more. Right, uh, give me signals. For the moment, okay, this one right there. This one right there. That one there. That one there. This in here, and this in there. Right. Now I'm going to fire the two trains on here now. Right this very second. And then I will deal with them later because we're sort of running out of time and I'll be ending the episode. I will clean everything up for the start of the next episode. We'll just sort of get the trains rolling. <coughs> And at the start of the next episode, we'll get things like uh, uh, the 
the trucks and that set up in the cities. See, it looks as though this train's got nothing, but it's because the animation, the construction materials going in, doesn't appear. The trucks have got full load there. Right, let's go with diesels. Now, I want to use this. Now, this doesn't have a reverse section. The, this scene has the double head out. But there doesn't seem to be a Union Pacific version of that. There is new Union Pacific trains on the go. Quite a few Union Pacific trains, but for just now, I'm going to go away. This guy. Now we'll get the in going up to Vancouver done first. When we start the next episode, we'll clean everything up. Or I'll clean everything up, but we'll add to, uh, another train on each. Just now we'll just get one going, right? One and two. Right, straight off the bat. I'm assuming we're going to go for about 500 for this. And I am actually going to use this, uh, the TTX company flat car for this in. Uh, one, two, keep on going until we get to about 500, probably 510 again. We've gone past it. Right, 497. 506 set on a line. Let's get you a new line. We get going here, buddy. Yes, I hear you. And then you're going to go up here to Vancouver, which I cannot actually do because I've not connected it up yet. Okay, we'll get that. Push pause for the moment. Uh, keep going flat along there and uh, bring it slightly this way. Now, how the hell am I going to get us past this road? Unknown. Unknown is the answer, right. Actually, here coming out on this track here. Alright, give me a tunnel, please. Keep it going flat. Right, there's a tunnel. Let's see if it does, if I connect it to that. Right, construction's not possible. Why not? Because you're not connected to that. Right, terrain alignment collision. Mainly with this. Collision. Collision. Right, we're fine there. It's tunneling under there. It's going to there. Kaboom. Sorted. Right. Bring it out. Uh, again, you are tunneling right along there. Now, I want you to snap, please, if possible. Yes, keep it going along there. Right, now, this is a hell of a route for this train to take. It's extremely long. That's why we'll have two trains on it. Uh, remain snapped to this, if you could please. And then snap into that little bit. Which you didn't need. Right, now back to this depot. Uh, hello there, train. Line one is 
Vancouver con Matt. Oh, con Matt train. Excellent. Right, you're going there, which was fine. Then you're heading all the way up here to there. Now, let me see your line. Right, that's excellent. Continue on, good sir. And then we'll head back over here. And we'll get another depot on which we already have. Buy trains. Uh, let's go with diesels. And I'm going to use the last Union Pacific train there. Buy that freight. Let's give this something different. State car, if there is in. I'm sure there is. That'll be down at the bottom. Right, what have we got here? The fake state car. 60 foot flat car. Which I'm pretty sure is the in that doesn't actually show anything. We'll see if there's any more. No, that seems to be it. Right, construction materials. We will want to keep it just below 500. 492. Set it on a line. Let's get a new line. Let's get go there. And then it's going to head over to Seattle. Is that Seattle? It sure is. Right. Seattle gone mad. Right, so this other guy is still going to the station. Well, let me see the length of his train. He fit, fits perfectly. Okay, that's good. Right, so I will tidy everything up and get stuff looking a bit more better. I will add another train. I'll probably wait for these trains to get to the other side. Santa Fe train there in the background. Let's see if anything is going to San Francisco yet. San Francisco call mark is getting 66. In the next episode I'll get another train running on each line. And then we shall uh, follow this Union Pacific. I'll clean everything up. I'll signal everything up. We'll start the next episode, we'll get another train running on each line. I will upgrade the big boys that are sort of aging and are in need of replacement. And that'll be it. Construction materials to all cities in America. Providing that the train going to Vancouver actually gets anything. It is a hell of a distance. Take a look at that big boy in the back now there, he might be the last time you see it. That has been it for me. I've been Danny Boy. It's been Transport Fever. If you'd like to leave a like or comment, please feel free to do so. And if you'd like to see more of what's happening in the future, then uh, hit that subscribe button. I've been Danny Boy. This has been Transport Fever. And I will. Cheers later.